Hello, AfterBuzz TV Drag Race fans. We are ready for the Drag Olympics. Are you? Tune in to Season 11, Episode 6, The Drag Olympics, and we have a special guest with us, so stay tuned. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Yay! Hey, AfterBuzz TV Drag Race fans! Glad you enjoyed my word vomit intro. <laughs> I'm your host, 123 Jackie B. With me, as always, Mark J. Freeman, aka Lorraine Love. I'm here. <laughs> He's here, That's and it. he's so excited, <laughs> he just can't hide it. Ollie Dreamer is also Hi. in the house, and yes. we have a special guest, celebrity songwriter, Taylor Jameson. <laughs> Unfortunately, due to complex copyright laws, <laughs> we are not able to play his music, but if you follow him on Twitter and iTunes, you can find his music. That is there. true. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Can can you give them your uh, iTunes and Twitter handle? Yeah, I think my, it's the same. My Instagram or, is mainly in, what I your use. Your Instagram and um, Twitter. That's what <laughs> yes. I was trying to say. Twitter Not and Instagram iTunes. is Taylor Jameson with an I and 77. Yeah, there you go. So you yeah. can find his music there. Um, what did you guys think of this episode? I heard that we all love the mini challenge. Uh, the mini challenge was so good. <laughs> Are we new fans of Love Charlie? No. Isn't that what that person's no. name was? Yeah. Wait, oh, Love, Love Connie. Connie. Oh, Connie. Love Connie. Love Connie. <laughs> and it was a C name. This is live. I didn't like, well, first off, I just didn't really care for the episode. One, we'll talk about it. I didn't agree with the elimination. Mm -hmm. I just didn't like the challenge. I, I feel like it's kind of like, I know every week is going to be a different category, but I feel like this really honed in on like, you for drag you have to ha be a certain you have to be athletic you have to be doing all the extra shit you have to be doing the splits the the death drops and whatnot some queens cannot do that like why Evie. did you look at me when you said that <laughs> you were just conveniently <laughs> looking at me you were convenient no what basically what i'm trying to say because i have word vomit as well jackie i think that j i don't want queens who don't do all the theatrics like the the athletic stuff. The calisthenics. Yeah. I don't want them to think that their their drag isn't as good or up to par mm -hmm. as the the queens who are killing it. Like, sickening. Yes, do the death drops. I'm going to tip you. I'm, yes, yes, yes. But it's almost coming to the point of that's c becoming a little uninspiring. Yeah. Because everyone's doing it. And, yeah. like, just because you don't do that. Like, queens don't do, like, <laughs> Sasha Velour, Bianca, Kimchi. Like, they don't have to do all that because they're conveying their art. You know, I feel like some queens forget like the artistry in drag. Yeah. Taylor, what did you think? I mean, I feel very, very much the same. It just, to me, just felt like a filler episode. It kind of just felt like one of those that was somewhere in the middle of the season where they're like, we've gotten rid of the girls we know we're going to go home first. We're keep, like, the girls that we know are going to get to the end are still there. So, like, just kind of killing the time <laughs> to get to the end. I don't know. It was, it was fun to watch. It was very fun to watch. Uh, out and about while drinking. <laughs> that always helps. That was great. Drinking. Watch it, rewatching it again, not drinking the next day was a little less exciting. <laughs> uh, Mark, I am a new huge fan of Love Connie. I don't care what Ali Dreamer says. I'm obsessed with Love Connie, and not just because she has love in her name. <laughs> um, I did not want her to. It was. Hands down the best part of the season, in my opinion. The oh, best so, mini challenge yes. ever. <laughs> ever. In the in eleven seasons. We're rewatching. Ever. This. She was just it was just like that's what you want the girls to have. When you walk in the room, <laughs> have that kind of personality, yes. energy. Yes. Regardless. And it doesn't even have to be big over the top like that, but just command the room when you walk in. Like to, I hope they were all taking notes yes. from the moment she walked into the moment she left. She was just captivating. I didn't yes. get poop what anybody else was doing. See, I'm trying to, my mind being my mom's watching today, so I'm going to say poop. Uh, she's not. Um, but uh, I loved every minute. I watched and rewatched that mini challenge. I will probably watch it five more times. I can't get enough of Love Connie. I do and follow her now on for Instagram. For those of you asking where Jayla is, she's actually taping something for Drag Race, which is why she's not here. Ooh. We miss you, Jayla. We Season 12. Um, we want to thank... <laughs> we want to thank uh, all the fans who join us in the chat room. Yes. There's Nurse, and then I can't read my own handwriting. <laughs> Love Connie for president. Nurse, yes, Jason, I think that's... I can't read my own handwriting. But... Jason, nurse Jason. Nurse Jason is, is joining us yeah. live. We have Johnny Quest. Ronnie. We have Ronnie in the chat room. Ronnie Jr.'s in my room. So thank you guys for joining us in the chat room. And please watch us on YouTube. Give us that thumbs up. Or 
Go to iTunes, give us five stars, and you will get Fan of the Week. Yes. Not just maybe, you will get Fan of the Week. So at right. the end of this, I have a list of some Fans of the Week because we got a couple of nice reviews on iTunes. One that I almost, you guys can testify, I almost peed myself out yes. there reading it. So, so yes. Stay tuned for that. There's your teaser. <laughs> You want to pee a little bit? Stay tuned Stay for Fan tuned. of the Week. Oh my God. <laughs> what podcast is this turning into? It could, it could just be that I'm old. I mean, it could just be that Mark's I can't hold. Mark's faculties are leaving my... him. He's like, I'm shitting myself. I'm peeing my pants. I don't know if it's just coincidence that it happened as I was reading the review. Anything's possible. Lorraine me. Love comes out of a diaper. I mean... <sighs> Sorry. Right. Uh, so the mini challenge, which we already highlighted on. Yes. Uh, Mark is a new huge fan of Love Connie. I thought Love Connie was hilarious. Yeah. It, I don't know what. Well, I just figured no. this out. Um, to the left. Okay. I'm assuming that was my left, not your left. Um, Ollie did say he's been drinking all week, so maybe he was drunk when he was watching it. So. Um, are you sure you're not drunk over there, Miss Thing? No, I was not. She even said she loved that. Everyone in the chat room loved that. They want Miss Love Connie for president. Okay. I did. Yeah. I did really enjoy Love Connie. I enjoy when I I enjoy the mini challenges when queens are doing ridiculous things, and that's been the like the mini challenges this whole season. And the mini challenges have tied in with the main challenges. Mm-hmm. So as a Virgo, I really appreciate that. <laughs> I like it when things tie together <laughs> yeah. in a big bow. I loved it just because she didn't care about any of them. Like, she was just doing her. Yeah. And they were her props. She was like, yeah. I'm going to slap you. I'm going to hit you. I'm yeah. going to call you out. Like, it was just so much fun to watch. Now, I do have an issue with who won. Because I saw Evie doing, like, 20,000 backflips. And I was like, how did Evie not get to be one of the winners? I was surprised, too. I actually was surprised that Evie didn't get it. Yeah. But. So, I, I mean, I was a little shocked about that. And then... You know, we say this every week where it's like sometimes somebody wins and you're like, okay, like a curio yeah. and plastic. I, I mean, I, I don't know how you judge that because everybody's doing things so quickly. The one that stood out to me was Evie because of the crazy amount yeah, of backflips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But other than that, I'm like, but, I was here for Brooklyn, so you're just like kicking her face over and over again. That yeah, yeah. Akira went last, right? Is that yes. Like, oh. Yeah, she was definitely memorable. If you go last, you're gonna remember because you just went. But yeah. I'm, ha- I'm I'm happy she won because. She's not been getting a whole lot of screen time this yeah. season so far. Until One now. thing I will say about Akira is I absolutely love the way she pads her ass. Yes. She has like the perfect ass padding, and then Adam Rippon commented on it. To, I was going to ask though, is it padded or is she natural? Like, well, as natural as Dina. I don't but. think so. I don't think so because in that, <laughs> in the in the episode where they had it in the beginning in the quick challenge in the mini challenge, you could see that it was like the co- couch cushion, oh, okay. like lumpiness, because yes. we had to get around it so fast. I kept looking at it, going, "Is it real or is it padding?" But it is good. It is very good. It's really nice. I would like to, yeah, oh, see, yeah. just see what she uses. <laughs> Not see it, but you know what I mean. So <laughs> from one queen to another. <laughs> so workroom. There was a lot of fighting in the workroom, and I just kind of like I don't know what happened to me this episode, but I, my eyes like glazed over, and I'm like I cannot handle this. I cannot yeah. keep up with all of this. It was too much going on, and it kind of bled into Untucked, where there was like mm. a what seemed like a 20 minute discussion on who left wigs for who at who station, yeah. and I was like I cannot follow this. I can have all this at can all. Can I just say something about Silky real quick? Absolutely. Now that Jayla's not here, I guess. <laughs> well, like, honestly, Scaredy the, cat. the panel has been defending the hell out of Silky this season. But my thing is with Silky, when she was going after Evie, at least this was, a, this was in the beginning of the episode, I was really surprised that Silky said something like along the lines of, oh, Evie, you're just spooky. You know, yeah. You've been doing one thing. When I think, I don't think Evie's been doing one thing. I don't mm-hmm. think that's not, she's been doing something different and fresh mm-hmm. every single week. If anyone's doing one thing, it's Silky. Yes! Yes, I agree. She's been doing beauty. She didn't yep. even do Spooky last week. No. Nope. Yeah. Like, she, because she was like, oh, I, 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 it's not Evelyn. my thing. I she didn't even try. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. one yeah. week. Just go for the, the concept of the freaking challenge. Mm-hmm. So I had to just say, Silky, well, what the hell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I said that last week, too. I said, oh, well, I, first of all, I don't believe that she can only do one makeup. You know what I mean? Like... It does, just doesn't like it's like you. There's other things you can do. You, you know what I mean. I just, I just, I, yeah, I agree, hundred yeah. percent. I agree, hundred percent. I think she's. And I, I actually thought that when we, were, I was getting ready. I'm like, I have some not so nice things to say about Silky this time, and too bad Jayla's not there because I know she does. She's friends with her, and <clears throat> we talk about this every single week because I usually watch it with her. 
Um, is that me? Uh, I don't know. That was weird. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we literally talk about it every week because I just feel like every time she's just doing kind of the same thing. Ooh. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. I feel like this is the part where we all go into the oh, darkness. Wait. I think that was me. Ah, <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. That was me the whole time. Huh? What? 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 Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of the same thing with Silky every week where I feel like she's making it very hard for all of us to love her. Yeah. Because from the very first time I saw her in that promo, it was one of those where I was like, yes. yes. Like, she looks like she's yeah. about to she give it like to she's me. she's hilarious. And yeah. then it just was like, every week, it's just continuing where you're like, uh, like, please just stop talking. Yeah. <laughs> Some of me wonders, though, like, in this ep- uh, in this show, we talk about dick in the soup, which means, yes. like, the... Oh, per- I know. Oh, okay, you oh know. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> which, when we told that to Jayla, her face <laughs> fell apart. Um, but I do feel like a little bit of... You know, the producers are always trying to, like, ramp up some, like, energy into into mm-hmm. uh, making extra content for the yeah. episodes and whatnot. But it was just weird to me because it's like you have this whole big thing in the workroom about how Evie and Silky are mad at each other and are you guys going to be okay? And then when you watch Untucked, they just seem, like, fine with each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, I don't know, like, yeah. if that's their personality, if it's like they just go at it and then they just calm down or if it's like oh well you have to pretend you hate each other for like these next five minutes yeah you're right in the confessionals or whatever or, yeah. or even on set it's kind of weird when does everything you you just think as like a film major I'm like when did this all take place and how when did this when was this filmed it's just mm-hmm. it's weird right. it's, that's reality television because on Tux yes. it's like they all they all made that comment to Evie because Evie's been making comments kind of to everyone about yeah. how to improve which actually oddly enough that would be annoying if her comments weren't We're so sure. on point. Yeah. Exactly. On point. Yeah. 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 And they don't they don't seem to me, they don't seem that harsh from Evie. They're not. I literally wrote that down where I was saying her talking about the silhouettes for Vanjie and Silky yeah. at the beginning of the episode. It was yeah. like they were getting mad at her, but I was like, you guys should be getting mad at yourself. Because well, she's just pointing out a fact. She's right. like, This is what they told you, so you should probably listen to them. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, and my thing is too, is, is and in particular Vanjie who is the first one when that confessional camera starts rolling has something to say about everybody. I'm like, you can't be pointing finger. At least Evie has the balls to say it out Mm -hmm. loud Mm -hmm. in front of people. And uh, there's nothing that, I don't think there's anything that you're going to see in Evie's confessional as a queen who's been on the show that they didn't hear from Evie on set. I think watching it, there's going to be a ton of girls that are going to go, Vanjie said that about me? Like, because I don't, th- I think she's very different from when she's in the room with them and how she is in the confessional. Yeah. And the fact that she, in her confessional, was calling Evie out on what, to keep her mouth shut, it's like, no girl, you came out in the same, you are w- literally have worn the same thing every freaking runway. I was so angry. I know You're talking we, about Silky, right? No, no Vanjie. Yeah. I was, and I know we'll get to this more later, but I was so angry when she came around that corner, I would have put Vanjie in the bottom just because she walked, she had the balls to walk out in glitter and a bodysuit again. I would have absolutely, I didn't care what she did in the in the challenge. I would have said, nope. And I would have even done it right at the beginning. As soon as they came up there, before anything was said, I said, look, before we go any further, you're going to be in the bottom. You, that is insulting. I literally would have said that to her. I was so angry when she came around the corner, especially because she had the little crying episode early in the episode. Like, I feel all this pressure. I feel like I need to step up my game. So I thought, okay, great. She's going to step up her game. And then she walked out in that. It's an insult. It's an insult. Some of me wonders if if this is going to play into the next episode where it's like, she, I just don't, I'm like, why did she work wear that bodysuit when we had like this whole episode yeah. about yeah. her having to step it up? And I'm yeah. like, yeah. I, and she had that whole crying thing. Yeah. And I'm like, I wonder if this is going to come into play next episode where she either, she either goes home or she yeah. like wins a challenge yeah. because of what they kind mm-hmm. of set up in this yeah. episode. Could be. So, yeah, that's... Because they're clearly doing that. They did that with Scarlet, how she couldn't dance in, like, a past episode, and it came back. So. Right, mm-hmm. right. So I always want... And it's it's fun when you watch the show twice, because you kind of pick up on, like, the... They always try right. to do the foreshadowing elements. Yes. Like, they always try to do that. So mm-hmm. you start to pick up on them, and you're like, huh, this is so-and-so's yeah. episode to learn mm-hmm. such and mm-hmm. such. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so we had Drag Olympics was the main challenge. You had to do fanography, voguing, and shablam. 
Interestingly enough, I was like, what is shablam? <laughs> because I've never heard of this before in my You've life. you never heard the word shablam? I've just not. And I've then, even heard of that. Cracker, yeah. cracker, and, the and then I read this whole article uh, online on Out Magazine where, like, people who are, <laughs> people who are, like, from the ball culture are like, it's not called shablam or death drop. Yeah. And it was called a dip, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. called a dramatic dip. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, now I'm just super confused. But if you want to read that article in Out Magazine, where, and Jiggly Cayente called it out too, where I guess it's not even what it's called. I was like, where is this all coming from? Have you guys heard Shablam before yes. today? Yes, I've heard that, but I... In the context of what? <laughs> I thought that. Shablam was like the new superhero for Marvel who Sh- wears the red Shazam. Shazam. Oh, that's Shazam. Oh. That's Shazam. <laughs> that's Shazam. I was like, it's a cross promotion. <laughs> No, but Cracker, Miss Cracker, I know Shablam from Miss Cracker. She says it all the time. Oh. I've heard it. I mean, yeah, I've heard it a lot. Yeah. In, I don't in do terms it, of like but something, I've heard it. in terms of something. It's more, it's more like, Lorraine, you should add some more Shablam to your number. And I go, no, I'm too old to do Shablam. You know, <laughs> so is Shablam just like whatever you want it to be? It's like, I mean, it's, it's like supposed a, to be it's, like, yeah, it's like a death when drop. It's say like, it, it's like a death drop. Something yeah. like, oh, okay. something wow. She, she shablammed on stage. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> shablam is standing anyway. upright in heels. That's my shablam. <laughs> I can do this. I got, I'm balanced. I'm good. So the teams were from Tuck Pantistan, Akiria, <laughs> Brooklyn, Silky, Evie, and Sugar, and then from Glamazonia, Plastique, Raja, Vanjie, Nina, and Scarlet. And then we had this whole big to do about how the Vanjie was saying how the people on Team Glamazonia were just not good dancers. Um, I actually liked watching I love watching like a dancing singing performance and so Mm -hmm. that part was fun to me Um, and maybe Taylor can weigh in on this part because he is the music expert but I thought (laughs) that I thought that the song for and I always feel like this affects people where I'm like the song for Team Tuck Pantistan was better to me than the song for the other team, which just colored my whole view of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like really jamming with that song. So everything they did, I was like, yeah, yeah. And the other song, I was like, you're like, "Mm -hmm." (laughs) (laughs) we want this team to win. So we're going to give them the better song. I don't know. I mean, it was just already like you already knew who was going to win. The second you saw the teams, you were like, okay. I mean, you have to give. (laughs) Did you like the songs though? I'm curious. I mean, it was just fun because it was just, they were just doing like a DJ beat with a bunch of yeah. lines. Cool. So it was yeah. great. Yeah. So it was like perfect and I was like, there's like that. nutcrackers sprinkled in there. Yes. I don't know what, you know. Yeah. You have to I give, was here for it. You have yeah. to give Akaria props because she did, she, I think um, uh, Plastique was just picking people she liked. Yes. And I think Akaria really was thought like, I, like, I want <laughs> people that can dance, you know. Yes. So she was smart in that regard, which I think d- she was very deserving of. Yeah. Win. Uh, and Taylor, I couldn't I wanna, take my eyes off of her. I want to ask Taylor what his favorite Oh, yeah. Paul's song is. Oh. Because I'm curious. Um, is it peanut butter? <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty much there. I feel like my favorite is actually Adrenaline. Oh, um, yeah. Um, yeah. I just think it's super yeah. fun. I think I like it more in that, like, season eight mm-hmm. little mix thing that they did mm-hmm. more than the actual one. <laughs> what do you, like, what do you think makes a good song? Oh, um. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're, like, you didn't warn him that you were going to ask him that. <laughs> Um, I don't know. It's a lot of things. I think it's really who the artist is. It's their delivery because at the end of the day, I'm a songwriter. So me and everyone that I work with, we can do our end. And then, but then if like the artist isn't able to sell that him or herself, like then that's, that's who the fans are listening to. They're not listening to us. Mm -hmm. They're listening to the guy or the girl who's singing it. So it's like, you really have to have that star quality, which is the same thing. I mean, for Drag Race too. It's like, you have to walk out and be that person. Like. I've seen a lot of people before they've been on Drag Race for their first time, and there's definitely certain people that I saw, and I was like, that girl's going to be on. Because you were just like, she walked out, and she was like, you're going to watch me for the next four minutes. And I was like, well, here I am, four minutes. <laughs> that actually says a lot about the episode, because it's not all about kind of like the choreography. You can, have, yes. you can get the choreography, yes. but do you have presence, like stage yeah. presence, which I feel like some of the queens did. And even if you had choreography, Raja, yeah. you you weren't memorable. Yeah. You have to be memorable and have that that. That, it that factor. Someone like, it factor. Yeah, someone like Nina, who they even point out, they're like, 
you didn't really get the dance girl, but they were mm-hmm. like, but you, I still watched you because yeah. you were over yeah. here doing the faces, doing the hair. So mm-hmm. it was some, it was still entertaining. And she, I still think has like a star quality to her. Mm-hmm. I think for me, a lot of what I was looking at in this challenge was like synchronicity. Like, were they working together? Yes. Did they look appeasing, like appeasing, appealing <laughs> as a group, uh, appeasing, appealing as a group. Um, and I thought that the Tukpanistan team, they were always they always seem to be in sync with each other, mm-hmm. which is something I really appreciated because when you're thinking of like, when you're thinking of like real Olympics and people doing like floor routines mm. you're, and people like we had two, we had two ice skaters on this episode. So when you're mm. thinking of people like making it look pleasing together, that's what I was really looking for. And Scarlett, for the people who think Scarlett should not have gone home, I like Scarlett, but she should have gone home. Because out of everybody you watched in that episode, she was messing with her whole team's mojo. Like, her kicks were way out of sync with everybody else. Everything she did was out of sync with everybody else on the team. So that was, like, one thing that... that She was the only person that really stood out to me where I was like, ooh, like, she... Maybe she worked really hard, but it still didn't... It's it still didn't mesh with the with the team. I don't know. I feel like for her, I still I didn't see her getting to the end, but I definitely saw literally when me and Jayla were going to the bar, like to watch the episode, we were talking about Scarlett. We we're like, we're she's somewhere in the middle. But like that's why we were just shocked when she went home because if you're thinking of you know people that can't dance, you have like you you had said before like Kimchi, Sasha, like uh, Pearl, literally top three. Like they talked about that every episode. They're just like, girl, this girl cannot move yeah. anything. So that's kind of what I saw for Scarlett. I was like, she had interesting looks. And also, I think Scarlett's an actor. I enjoy yeah. Scarlett. She's so much fun. Yeah. She, yeah. Has, the, she yes. has the presence. She has that, that je ne sais quoi. Yeah. I so, think what hurt but, her, And though, I also think, but also you have to break it down, you, the, the lip sync too, take that into consideration yes. as well, which but, I thought, we'll talk about it, I yeah, guess. But the lip I think sync she was did, messy, the outfit was messy. I but was, she did better. I still she, think the lip sync she stole was better though. I That's agree, I, was I agree. No, I agree. I was so confused. I'm just over <laughs> Raja. I'm so sorry. You already know, because I, I drag Raja all the time. She walked into the workroom and her earrings fell off. Come on. Come on. Send her You're home. still always Send like writing that in his poison She's diary. Wearing, I know. I'm skipping it. She's wearing pants. All freaking runway. Like, she's won one, one gown. I'm done. I'm over I mean, her. I'm I was so. here for her outfit, though. Her outfit was cute. This I episode? It. I did like Yeah, it was very, like, little, like cute little, like, oh, Mary J. Blige no. hair and everything. No. It wasn't my favorite. It wasn't my favorite. <laughs> it was, we'll discuss, it but it favorite. was the same episode we saw last week. Or same <laughs> outfit we saw last week. Um, okay, so I asked you guys, unless you have any more thoughts on the main challenge, do you? Uh, I was here for Travis Wall. Like, oh, yeah. He can come back every episode. Yeah. I was here, I was here for Adam. He's adorable. I like them both. I like them both. I like them. They can come back. <laughs> just in general, just have yeah, them back for every episode. Please, please. Just, please. just, just sit in the background and watch. <laughs> but you guys know I always like I always like to see them rehearsing. I, I thought that thing that Silky said was funny when um, I think it was Travis who who said who said uh, I you know some queens are out there like Bambi you know and I like to see mm-hmm. it when when people aren't struggling and then That's like, and like, Silky's like wait for the next people. <laughs> I think he was also the best choreographer because he wasn't mean to anyone. I feel like Yanis yeah. was very mean. I feel like Todrick is always very mean with the girls. And I feel like Travis was at least like trying to help the girls that didn't know how to dance as well. Like he'd be like, mm. okay, it's not looking great, but like let's try again instead of just being like, you're terrible. Next. I <laughs> noticed I liked, that I, I noticed that with some of the I, in this episode, maybe he each let them rehearse it on their own or it seemed from the way it was edited that he was like like you said, really singling out girls who might have been having a struggle mm-hmm. and saying, okay, try that again. Try that again. Which I like. Which liked. is like a way to, yeah. to learn. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because you don't need to rehearse the whole team over and over again yes. the whole team hates you. You know, it's better to just say, okay, well, you try that again yeah. and try that, that yeah. again. Yeah. So I was impressed, actually, because I was like, it's impressive to me to see that no one really, like, failed, failed, failed. Yeah. Like, yeah. They all looked pretty good. Yeah. You know, that was a that was a performance I would go and watch, you know, so Uh, runway. All that glitters, all that glitters, glitters. glitters. which I was I guess they must have been told them like you're bringing a gold outfit. Because I was like, why is all the glitter gold? Why did it be gold? Why did no one wear like silver diamonds or I don't know. But it wasn't the saying all the glitters is gold. Exactly. That's 
But I would appreciate <laughs> just glitter. Just do glitter, you know. Yeah. But they did glitter last season too. Right. So oh. whatever. Oh, I don't know. I What'd you guys think of Rue's outfit? Loved it. That was I loved great. It too. Yeah, yeah. That was like, one of those she turned and you were like, yep. I don't know. <laughs> gold. It was, it was like the gold. She was like, it was like a gold, gold like <laughs> Amazon. Oh, yeah. okay. She and looked it tied like, in with the runway. It was kind of like that. She looked like something out of Xena Warrior Princess, which yes. I appreciate. Oh. Yeah. looked amazing. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I haven't not liked anything she's worn yet. Oh well, and this was one where we always talk about like, should Rue wear something that matches the contestants or not? Because she'll look like she was competing with them. And I actually love <laughs> that. She competed that. this week. Yeah, she yeah. competed. That's what I've been saying. I love. I would love her to get more involved. It's it's, it's not a competition. It's like just her do- doing the challenge with the girls. Yeah, yeah. just you know? for fun. Right. But Akira looked better than Rue, just saying. <laughs> like, that Akira's was, yeah, look, that was a great look was beautiful. So good. I, the, my only critique is that she's worn the hair before. I think she's worn, she might have, it might be her promo look, but I, I've seen that hair before on her, but she, mm. I just wanted, it was beautiful, I just wish she would have taken the necklace off. Yeah. Same. No, I, I, same. That's the only thing I was like, oh, if you same. just would have taken the necklace off, it would have been perfect. But for sure, best look of the night, I have to say. Her. I thought it was great. It was one of my top three. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's all three. I like I like Akira. It's so weird because like Akira does have these kind of like pageanty tendencies, which I'm not too big on pageant yeah. queens, but she like takes them to the next level. Yeah. Like that everything when she wears certain outfits, she does it so she tries to look flawless. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she did. Yes. And she did. And when you're watching your 4K TV <laughs> and you see Akira come out and she looks flawless, you're like, yeah. Like, and just the shape, like, the shape we brought up earlier, just the hourglass. Mm-hmm. She was looking magnificent. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I mean, uh, after watching, after this outfit, when she came out, I was like, oh, she's going to get top three. She's mm-hmm. got to get top yep, three. She yeah. has to. Yeah. 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 Um, another one that I loved was Brooklyn because yeah. I love, love Sunset Boulevard. That, yes. So that was like. She turned and that was like me and Jill and Barbara were like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was, was ridiculous. It. So good. Because it was so simple, she's so but it was good. so well done. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's true. Somebody said, without a curious necklace, you would have seen the seam of her boobs. Uh, oh. So she's smart. She knows what she's doing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> or you just don't wear them. You actually do it the old-fashioned way. But whatever. <laughs> Want to give a around. boob tur- tutorial? <laughs> Here's the ways around it. <laughs> We, there was a life in drag before the plastic boobs. So just so you all are aware. I don't know. Like Mark? I want to know. I love the curious. Okay. I love the curious. I don't know. There was, I mean, I, there was somebody wrote it, just wrote it in the chat room. And I, I, maybe that's why I just, Brooklyn's for me, I don't know. Like I get it. And I love Sunset Boulevard, obviously, but I don't know. There was something that seemed a little, um, store bought basic to me. Like, and I don't know if it was the furs. I don't know. Oh, I love the I liked it. I didn't hate it. I just didn't, I didn't gush over it. And somebody in the chat room said that it kind of reminded them of last week, the, with the snake around her head. And I was like, oh, maybe that's what it was, that it was kind of the same. I actually really liked Raja's. The Raja's was cute. I actually really did like it. Um, And I I actually liked the face mask on it. I Um, had a problem with Raja's just because (laughs) we're starting, if we're going to call out queens who are doing the same look, that was literally like her, her sexy look from last episode was literally that same pantsuit and she had like some kind of mask on. Thank you, And I was like, this is the same exact thing, just a different color. Raja. Raja. And I feel like she's worn the hair before. Probably. (laughs) I'm sick of the I'm Probably. sick of the bodysuits. Oh, I'm so sick of them. I just want people, you know, like if we're gonna read one person for wearing right. the same thing, I right. want to read the true. other queens too. Well, but here's the thing, and I think this is the this is the the reason why I think the discussion was happening with Vanjie is that Vanjie has been spoken to and aired. I mean, maybe they all have been spoken to and it didn't mm-hmm. air, but it has been aired. That she needs to change her silhouette, and she's yes. not doing it. So yeah. that's, I, mean, I think, the justification for the van- the venting about Vanjie is because yeah. she's actually been told. And then, and I'm saying, and had somebody said, you know, and I guess I just didn't pay attention, or maybe it's not bothering me as much um, that the pants aren't bothering me that Raja's wearing pants all the time. But um, I mean, it's the same I think with, that's the justification. It's the same thing with Plastique. It's like they keep telling her kind of yeah. the same thing every week, where they're like, "You are gorgeous," but they're like, "But." That's really different. all you're giving us. Yeah. It's like you just kind of just like walk the runway like a model. Mm-hmm. You don't give us, you never give us like something 
amazing or funny Unexpected. or anything. It's kind of just like always just very beautiful. That's how I felt about her outfit again this yeah, week. Yeah, because mm-hmm. she did look great. She looked beautiful, but I was like, I feel like this is the same. Yeah, I still feel like no. Yeah, I've never seen one of her so far where I've just like been like, wow, that was really? it. Really? Oh. I think even they look Akira, great. Like, think even who? Akira who does like Plastic. pageanty stuff. Like her first, uh, her first outfit that she came out on yeah, the runway was with that like crazy <laughs> mohawk. I was like, look, yeah. she gave you something different yep. than mm-hmm. what she's giving you now. Yeah. Even though like. Even though she can be pretty, she can try other things, you yeah. know? And I think Plastic's pretty, but the difference is it's like someone like Brooklyn walks out and she's a star. Right. To, she walks out 100%. Right. She can wear that mummy thing from last right. week, literally toilet paper, and be like, well, cool, she won that. Yeah. <laughs> I do think that's it. I do think that, and that's what we were saying earlier about Love Connie, is like, we want she's everybody star, to yes. walk. It doesn't matter what you're, I, I could... Couldn't really tell you what Love Connie was wearing, but I fell in love with her yeah. and wanted more of it. It had nothing to do with what she was wearing. And that's always been my, and I think that's the point we make all the time is that, yes, you can have a $1,000, $5,000 gown that's beaded and not win the runway. Yeah. And Evie can, you know, clip two things together and drape them beautifully and do some fun makeup. And we're just like, oh my God, that's everything. Yeah. Because it's something new and it's fresh and we don't really care that it, wasn't a ton of money spent on it, you know? I loved, speaking of which, I loved Evie's outfit this episode because I love the way she incorporated the walking And I thought she looked, and you know, for all the people that are saying she's giving, I thought, my opinion, sorry, I thought she looked glamorous. Yeah, I thought so. I don't care, she did, I didn't get spooked from that, I got glamour from that. I got, like, runway editorial. Yeah. Little project runway for you. (laughs) Glamorous. <laughs> well, I'm just saying for the people, like for Silky and the people that are saying that she only does spooky. She doesn't Which just mean, do yeah, spooky. I don't get spooky from her. I think I get weird. Yeah, yeah. Weird different, spooky, unique. Different. Yeah, yeah. Spooky, they are. Different. They That's are it. different. Yeah. Charisma, uniqueness, yes. nerve, and talent. Which yes. spells what, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Which I figured out Couple in season ago. nine. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> He was, his mind was blown. I need to find that because I probably should put that on my reel because that's a, that was a moment where I was like, Mark has been oh. auditioning for Dry Race for forever. I never knew. Did not that. know what this meant. See, that could have been your fam- that could have been your fame moment. That could have been your how's your head. Uh, <laughs> let's move on. Um, Any more thoughts on the runway? Uh, um, who else? Who else was Silkies that? wasn't good. Absolutely I'm just not. not a big fan of the Jesus stuff. I just absolutely not. Even, yeah. it wasn't why even was the, the Jesus cross, thing. Why was the cross on this? Like, why was it tilted? I don't, I don't that was, that. She walked out and I literally, no. what does it say here? Absolutely not. No. No. <laughs> I was like, no. Yeah. <laughs> why were you saying? Because, like, my no was because, like, I don't want to see Jesus on the drag runway. Mine what? was just like, it just, I don't know. There was, it just looked bad. <laughs> I was trying to find a different word to say it. I was just like, it just turned around. And also, it's like kind of like the same thing where I feel like she's wearing the same hair every week. It's the Oprah hair. Oh, yeah. yeah she now that, they, the now that they showed her as Oprah, I'm like, right. that's her haircut every week. Where I'm like, she I want to see something. Hair. I want to see her use that ponytail from the promo. I want to see yeah. her do, like, I want to see her with a short wig. Yeah. I just want to see her yeah. do something because every week it's literally Oprah face. Well, maybe after her... wig gate, she can steal one of the 45 million wigs that Ariel yeah. loves. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. You know but what I know? She she had had I, I'm agreeing with Cassie now. <laughs> I agree, though, with Mark. Vanjie had the worst look of the week, I have to say. Like, Vanjie. Vanjie. It looks Vanjie. so it was really bad. And, and it was the worst me. look. And you know what, honestly, life. if she came out and did a, a cute little number at Mickey's and that, yes, I exactly. probably would have never had an issue with That's it. That's what I was about to say. My issue is that you, like, you know, and maybe the editors should be getting a, a Daytime Emmy Award because they <laughs> set it up perfectly to piss me off. You know, I don't know if that was a plan to get us wound up about it, but I mean, I literally was so angry about it. So, yeah, I would have. Yeah. I mean, I even, <laughs> Damn. this is going to say a lot coming from me. I even would have put her in the bottom over Scarlett's outfit because of what because See, of the conversation. I agree. Thank you for saying I, yeah. that. I wasn't I'm, mad at Scarlett's outfit though. I, I was right. mad at it because I, we mm. it was literally the the swamp creature from last right. week in gold. Right. Oh, yeah. okay. No, okay. But there was an outfit under that though. Come on. That, but credit. that one didn't get revealed until later. But she still did and it, and it was, was still very that. effective. It was still very effective. <laughs> I liked she it. She cut herself out of an outfit. I liked it. During I liked a lip that. sync, threw the glitter out. She had presents. Raja yeah. had a very polished lip sync. I'll give her that. But 
I was looking at Scarlett the whole damn time. Yeah. You do music, she you know cut, that? Okay. I'm, I'm, she cut, I just want to say it again. She cut herself yeah, out of it and revealed a new outfit, and I I live for it. I'm, I was I'm here for it. Uh, you do music. I do. You know how important it is when a beat changes and something, they had this moment in the song where it's like, bump. Yes. You know, like, that reveal for that song should have happened like, like very quickly, just yeah. because the beat changed. It was True. like the beat was changing, and it already passed her, but and she, she did, was still cutting. But she cutting. did kind of throw it off at like she when did. the last dance, yeah. like sort of the next yeah. part. So it's like it still was a good beat, mm-hmm. but that one would have been cooler <laughs> right. if it was a different outfit. Yeah, because I think I was waiting for this to like her to just do this, and then it to just fall down. Yeah, that like, would have been cool. <laughs> oh no, we're going through like a thirty-minute pantomime. <laughs> But I liked her outfit underneath it too, though, and I liked like she threw the glitter out. I wish she would have like, worn. Very just very just like, I wish she would have oh, worn the, what was underneath on uh, the runway. I would have cool. been more okay with it if the, she if, knew she was in the bottom. She was like, I gotta yeah. wear this. I gotta <laughs> so cut, cut it out. She yeah. plan. So we only have a couple minutes, but uh, you guys said you had thoughts on the uh, lip sync. Uh, I, oh, I already well, gave mine. Well, I gave mine. Too. Yeah, that was that was <laughs> my Scarlet, I'm just like that was just very confusing, just because. Sorry. I don't think Raja did anything to save herself. Yeah. I think she was just like, it was a good lip sync. It was good. I mean, everyone in the chat room was saying that they, I think everyone just wants Raja to go. <laughs> I think just like for storyline purposes that Scarlett didn't, maybe they didn't have anything for Scarlett to go on for. And maybe, yeah, maybe. that's why they kept Raja because they need a, they need to have a uh, lip sync assassin, you yeah. know? But and, see, me and Jayla said that too, that we were like, if they're trying to make her the lip sync assassin, doesn't she need to be an assassin then? Right. I agree. Because I don't think she's assassinated anybody. Well, and I will say... I just think the other person has been not as good, and she just kind of keeps on lucking out. Because to me, I'm like, if you're going to be like Cameron Michaels and do that, then you got to pull it out every time where I was like, oh, oh, okay, cool. Yep, she won. (laughs) I was going to say is, you know, and I hope, I'm hoping, I'm going to make a prediction. I'm hoping, because at the end of the episode, I think this episode really was a wake-up call for Scarlett. I think that yeah. she seemed very, very humbled at the end. She did. She seemed like she learned her lesson. Mm-hmm. I even, you know, on the runway when she says, you know, I think I've even pissed off my sisters because of my attitude. I, I'm going to make a prediction that her reunion, she's going to knock it out of the ballpark. Uh, yes. Yeah. I just I just have this feeling that yeah. she's going to be the one that yeah. when you go to see her now, that really has stepped up her game, yes. has really uh, learned her lesson f- or at least, please, please, yeah, please I do it. Because I think yeah. I would have a whole new respect for her if she did that. Definitely I since so. all the queens like were gunning for her on the runway, too. Yeah. So that was probably... Yeah. Sorry, you guys. We're, yeah, we're we cut for time. So, Mark, quote of the week. <laughs> the of fans the week. of the week. The fans of the Go week. Uh, here's the uh, thing that Mark and I were talking about. Charlotte Harlot gave us a five-star <laughs> review and said... I got your oats right here, sluts. <laughs> and she's offering group sex in El Paso. Yes! So, so for the guys on the panel. Yeah. Uh, she... Also, fans of the week, One Al Gray, who loves listening to us. Uh, Junior, who said, we're our new favorite podcast, and they're binge-watching us. And then a couple from YouTube. Uh, Jesse Drew, who said five stars across the board. And then Bobby Riffick, who doesn't own any Apple products, and <laughs> said this was his iTunes comment, effectively. Aww, which perfect. I thought was cute. Uh, quote of the week. Quote of the week. I'm picking because it was, in my opinion, the statement of and that's not necessarily the funniest thing, but the statement of the episode because I just wanted it to end as well. Was burn the wigs, burn the fucking wigs <laughs> by Van G. Yes, because please. I just want. I was so done with that conversation. I just wanted it. it just to end. was dragging. So yeah. She gets my quote of the week. So meme queen. Meme queen. We got this one right up here from Dom zero seven two four eight nine. Uh, I died when I saw that. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I was dead. I can't <laughs> read it. I just see the it us. It says us and it's starring Bob and Pretty Bob and it's her and Monet. <laughs> Bob and I was Pretty over, Bob. I, oh I God, like threw my phone. That's <laughs> funny. That's, That's cute. Funny. Okay. That is cute. And, and then our local queen. Um, this is I did something different this week. I actually just want, I do another show here called Doom Patrol, and it's a superhero DC show. And they actually had a drag queen on. Oh, wow. I don't know if she's an actual drag queen, but I just wanted to showcase her real quick. The actor that played her was Alan Mingo Jr. and also Matt Bomber's in this. So there's the. It's really cool because this is a superhero show, and they're having like these queer themes and elements impl- implemented in them. Mm-hmm. And I just want to share her name was um, what was it? It was oh my gosh, what was her name? Morally corrupt. <laughs> Mor- Mor- Morally Lee corrupt. I love that. So I just want to share that because it was like perfect timing. But also, yes. guys, send me your favorite local queens. And do we have? Do we put it up? What the email? No. DM me. God Josh, damn it. Just yeah. DM Josh, me. remind us next week. We want to give you the email for them to 
uh, email Josh or email <laughs> Ollie their local queens. Our Positively mere... will do. Okay, oh, great. Thank you. Our mere moment that we had to cut for time was a discussion on Evie's um, oh, right. condition, yes. which we'll try that did really more. move yeah. me. But if you guys have any like quick thoughts about that. Let me know. I like I like to get to I like getting to know Evie yeah. more like each week. I just fall more and more in love with yeah. her. She's awesome. I like also I was like I learned something new. I never knew this disease yeah. Yeah. existed, and it's like you kind of you you can now like understand certain yeah. things mm-hmm. that she's going through. Right? I'm just glad that there's someone from Denver because I'm from Colorado, and oh, the nice. only oh, nice. other person that has been there is Nina. Yeah. Yeah. and yeah. she's yeah. like one of those where she's definitely in my top five, and yeah. no one ever knows who she is, and I'm always just so sad. So I'm glad that there's somebody now to be like, oh, you're from Denver. That's cool. Nice. Yeah, because yeah, Evie's killing it. Well, Taylor, thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Yeah. Yeah. Let them know where they can find you again, so they uh, can get Taylor Jameson your music. seventy seven. Okay, Ollie. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm Ollie. Follow me on all social media platforms at Ollie Dreamer. And you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Lorraine Love, L O R A Y N E L O V E. And I'm one two three Jackie B on all platforms. Tune in next week for another episode. Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. 